episode is about cheating, lying, and infidelity. My first guest is the man who was in the middle of it all. Everyone welcome, Nick Carraway. <laughs> Tell us where you come from and how you ended up in West Egg. Um, I'm from a small town in the mid Midwest and I uh, ended up in West Egg because I wanted to get into the bond business. How's life different in West Egg? What do you think about it? Um, you know, you can't complain. Uh, it's, it's, so, it's okay. It's a little not what I'm used to in the Midwest, but it's all right. right. Are you in a relationship right now? Uh, it's a little complicated. I've been sort of seeing around, but I mean, there's this one girl named uh, George. How many of you guys would like to meet a pro golfer? <laughs> well, welcome my next guest, Jordan Baker. Yeah. <laughs> How's your relationship with Nick? Oh, um, me and Nick are great. We have the best relationship in the world. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Right. You don't have any relationship. Nothing's going on here. Yes, there is. We've been in love. Since when? Since never. After a commercial break. Drink a lot of water. I really have to go. People are waiting to tee off. There's no restroom out here. Has this happened to you? I've got the perfect gift. Introducing the Euro Club, the discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. It looks like an ordinary golf club, but contains a reservoir built into the grip to relieve yourself. The Euro Club comes with a towel and appears that you are just checking out your club. Leak proof, easy to clean, and no embarrassing moments. Order now. The Euro Club, the only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. Everyone, welcome my next guest, uh, Jay Gatsby. <laughs> Tell me about your life and your crazy parties. Well, I throw some pretty crazy parties. You know, it's mostly like the weekends though, but I like to throw them, you know, invite some people, have a little fun, make sure other people have fun. I like to be out there, you know? Yeah. What about any relationships? Well, I, I'm not. I'm more of a go after multiple people. I don't like to settle down right now. But there's one girl out there. I think. Yeah, I've had her in the past. You know, but I'm trying to get her back. It's just not working out right now. Well, we've got someone special backstage. Let's bring out Daisy. <laughs> What's your take on the relationship? With my husband Tom. Oh, no, no. Well, me and Tom have been married for nine years. Well, um, I think Jay has something to tell you. Daisy, I love you. Oh. Oh. But I'm married. So <laughs> That's not right. Well, we have Tom back today. <coughs> Let's bring out Tom. Are you gonna, are you gonna say that you love my wife? Like what the hell? I love her. She loves me. But she doesn't. She loves me. Tell her you don't love him. I love my husband, Tom. He loves right. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're gonna get to the bottom of it all after a commercial break. I'm Ricky Bobby. People used to call me Big Red, but I told them stop it, because there's only one Big Red, America's number one cinnamon gum. What? What'd you say? That's what I thought. Welcome back from the commercial. Um, Tom, how do you feel about your wife, Daisy? Well, you know, she's beautiful. I love to show her off to the public, you know. She's my trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I guess Daisy just doesn't satisfy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, for your information, I'm with Gatsby, so you can have her. What? You with this guy? Yes. Actually, I went over to his house and you didn't even know, and we had lunch with Nick and him, and it was a great time. You know what? That's fine, because I'm with her anyways. And he bought me a dog. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, Myrtle, do you have a husband? Well, yes. George Wilson. So this is like one big affair. Let's bring out George. <laughs> How do you feel about Gatsby? I'm not really sure if I know him. I, I mean, I guess he's fine. I love him. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. But uh, what is this I hear about, you know, an affair with my wife? Mm. Yeah, that's right. Your wife's with me now. You... What? Yeah. I take her everywhere. I buy her things because you suck. You do what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm dying near my wife again, I swear to God, I'll kill you. I can't even do this anymore. Larry, cheat, ho. Inside out? Why would you do that? Is that the star? I wish I had a book bag, but I have a burn. Sorry. All right, welcome back to the show. We're gonna get some questions from the audience. Daisy, how can you call Myrtle a hoe when you're switching between men as well? Well, I'm obviously the better lady, so sh she's a hoe, and I'm not. And I love Gatsby before she ever knew Tom, so it just makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> uh, this one, Myrtle and Tom, when did your affair start? Um, to be honest, it's been going on for a while since, like, Gatsby started to come into uh, West Seg. And Daisy, have you ever had suspicions about this? Yes, but being the proper lady I am, I just let it slide, and maybe he'd be a man about it and talk to me about it. But... 
do the exact same thing. Yeah. Like how she's making it about her and everything. Let's just say he loves me more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is for Tom. What's the difference between Daisy and Myrtle? Well, be honest, Daisy is, of course, my trophy. Myrtle, it's more of just a love affair. And I enjoy her voluptuous body. <laughs> Nick, how do you feel being in the middle of all of this? Like drama just keeps... Well, you know, my, my father always told me not to judge anybody, but... Um, so, you know, I, I don't really... I, I sort of... I'm everybody's friend. Yeah, hey Chris. Hello. Um, Jordan, first of all, why'd you bring a golf club on the show? Because you haven't done anything with it. And I heard Ooh. you cheat at golf. Uh, how can you be a professional if you cheat? Ooh. Um, excuse you. I do <laughs> not cheat at golf, and I'm very good at it. That's why I won my trophy. But why'd you bring a golf club on the show? <laughs> because I can't. It's an iron. I think that's it for the question. Uh, I have a question for Daisy. Did you ever really love Tom? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, of course not. Well, love is a strong word, um, but uh, no, I'm sorry. Bounce. <laughs> 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 Back after commercial break. Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. I've searched all over the world for a realistic tasting prune candy. Now I finally found it. Quing Long Zhu, the Cadillacs of prune candy. Hey, whenever I'm spending time in Shanghai, Beijing, or Taipei, I like to put my feet up, get a cool glass of iced tea, and enjoy a bag of prune candy. Dragon foot, bamboo pole, little mouse, Chinese boy, prune candy. Okay, um, we caught back up with our guests a few weeks later, and we found out Tom and Daisy got back together. Myrtle got ran over by Daisy. George thought Gatsby did it and shot him and him killed himself. Oh. Oh. So I guess the moral of the day is to choose your spouse carefully and be faithful to them. Catch us next week for a gay man who got pregnant by his lover. See you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay.